Next, let us proceed to determine the locations of the crack region. The purpose of this step here is for us to determine the VCR, which is later to be checked against the shear capacity of the crack region. Referring to this diagram here, the VRDC that we have calculated in the previous step is meant to check against the crack regions against the VED. We will need to determine if there is any crack region and this crack region loop which is VCR will be checked against VRDC for the crack region. In order to determine this VCR, you may use these equations which have been derived in this poisitation slide. Within the equation here, you know the VED which we have calculated earlier. You know the effective span which is given in the equation. You need to determine the MCR. MCR represents the moment at the locations of VCR. This MCR can be determined from the equation here. These values are given. For a pre-tension member, the gamma superior and gamma inferior are this. The pre-stressing force is 1200 kN. The geometrical properties are given. And FCTD is calculated from SCTM, which is obtained from the equation here. Since we have calculated it previously, you may adopt the value. The eccentricity will be considered as 450. Substitute into the equation here, you get MCR equals to 535.2 kN. And substitute the relevant value into the equations, you get a function in terms of the x1. The x1 here represents this distance. If you solve these equations, you get two value of x. The x1 is equals to 2721 and x2 equals to 9279. If you refer to the diagram here, this distance will be 2721 and this distance will be 9279 mm. You know that these two positions actually happening within the section here. Therefore, we know that there will be uncracked sections and cracked sections throughout the member. Using the locations of the section, use the interpolations to do the calculations for the VCR. It is calculated by having the ratio of VED divided by L per 2 versus VCR divided by this length. This length is calculated by having this L per 2 minus X1. With that, you get VCR equals to 139 kN. Now you have obtained VCR. Your next step is to check against its share capacity of this section. As in this region represent the crack region, the equations for the maximum share capacity is this. It is either VRDC or VRDC minimum. You will need to take the bigger value of the two. The VRDC and VRDC minimums are given in the equation here. Let us first look into the VRDC equation. There will be B and D. The BW will be taken as the total width of the web, which is 300 mm for two webs. And the D previously we have calculated as the centroid of the tendon, which is equals to 668 mm. You will require sigma CP. This one also we have calculated in the previous calculation step. It is equal to 2.8 Newton per mm square. There is a value for K1. 
k1 is given in the equations as 0 0.15 fck equals to 40 rho t represent the area of the reinforcement bar within the section it can be obtained from this equation here the area here represents the numbers of the tendons times the area of each tendon which is calculated as here divided by BD and the rho T value needs to be less than 0 0.02 the calculated value is here you need to determine the K which can be determined from these equations in the functions of the effective depth of the section the care value needs to be less than 2.0 which finally you obtain the care equals to 1.547 also you need to determine CRDC which can be referred from this equation here 0 0.18 divided by partial factor of safety of concrete which is 1.5 you get CRDC equals to 0 0.12 substitute all the relevant value into the equation you will be able to determine VRDC next you need to determine VRDC minimum BD will be 300 times the effective depth of 668 Sigma CP we have obtained earlier K1 is given as 0 0.15 you need to determine the V mean which is obtained from the equation here in the functions of K which we have calculated earlier on and also in FCK 40 you get V minimum equals to 0 0.426 and the calculated number it will be 169.5 the shear capacity of the crack sections will be the bigger value of the two and this is to be checked against the VCR here it is found that the shear capacity is greater than the shear load within the region therefore we know that no shear reinforcement is required at the uncracked region and we only need to provide the nominal reinforcement bar this diagram represents the calculated outcome we know that there will be cracked regions and there will be uncracked region in terms of the loading VED is here and VCR is here in terms of the shear capacity VRDC for the uncracked regions is here and VRDC for the cracked regions is here the shear resistance is always greater than the shear loads acting in the member throughout the span therefore we know that nominal reinforcement is adequate for the entire section with that our next step is to calculate the nominal shear link we know that the yield strength of the shear link is 500 substitute FCK and substitute BW you get the required ratio of ASW per S equals to 0 0.304 provide T10 with the spacing of 400 mm you get your ratio equals to 0 0.393 which is greater than the required therefore you will know that the provided sharing is adequate next you will need to check for the spacing for the sharing it is calculated by this equations which is 75% of the effective depth of the tendon the effective depth is calculated as 668mm that gives you your maximum spacing 501mm the provided spacing of the shelling is 400 which is less than the maximum allowable spacing therefore you will know that the provided shearing is adequate in terms of the amount and also in terms of the spacing 